What's going on everybody? Strike City DMV right here. I'm here to give you a quick review of my Rapala tackle bag. It's my bag I use for my tournaments. I've been getting a lot of questions about what type of tackle do I use. A lot of people were asking me to do a tackle review. So I will be doing a tackle review soon. I'll be breaking down everything that I typically throw um, for you know a tournament and just in general. I have a lot, a lot of, I have a lot of tackle, uh, but I kind of condensed it down to what I throw on a consistent basis and what you need to take with you um, for tournaments. And uh, as a co-angler like myself, um, just kind of give you some do's and don'ts to um, all you aspiring tournament anglers out there on what to bring, what not to bring, how much space um, that you should take up, that type of thing. So, but that's all coming down the pipe right now. Let me give you a review of the Rapala tackle bag. And here is the bag. Uh, it's by Cabela's. Very durable, very sturdy. Um, it's actually bigger than I anticipated. Um, I'm very happy with the bag. I'm very ha happy with the materials. Sometimes you get bags and um, how it's, the materials is cheap. Just, just being honest with you. But with this particular bag, it is outstanding. And I'm going to sit here on the floor and try to give you uh, a review of this bag. Uh, as you can see, uh, actually I should put the camera up a little bit. I'll bring it up here. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I will uh, bring it up here. Hold on a second. Let me get adjusted here. All right. Put it on the table. So, as you can see, it's a big bag. Nice, big, gigantic strap. So you can carry it on your shoulder. Big, strong, thick handle. As you can see here, it's uh, reinforced by some thick rubber um, and a uh, kind of a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, some type of really strong material, kind of like the inner, inner kind of like the inner um, layer of a uh, North Face jacket. It's very comparable to that. Um, it, the bag is also waterproof on the outside, waterproof material. Um, you got two big side pockets here on the side. Um, you have a zip compartment on the back, which I use to uh, store my my uh, weighing bag for when I'm weighing my fish. Flipping it around here, there's another big side um, side uh, you know uh, what do you call it uh, pocket. <laughs> um, and it's like these little, uh, I don't know, pass-throughs. I use that, as you can see, to stick my uh, fish attractant on the outside. I just kind of hang that on the outside like so. And uh, flipping it back around to the front, there's also a zip compartment in the fr front. The Paula logo on it. Um, it it's, uh, comes from Cabela's. That's where I ordered it from. Actually, no. I ordered this one from eBay. Um, but Cabela's is uh, who actually sells it, but you can get them off of eBay. Um, the, re the bag retails for $99.99. I got it off of eBay for $79.99. I got a great deal. And uh, on the outside, here is the uh, plier holders for your pliers. So, uh, one good thing I like about this bag, and it's also uh, two clips to secure it down as well as zippers in addition to the two clamps. But uh, one thing I really like about this bag is that it, it holds up to eight 3700 series tackle utility boxes. And one interesting thing about this particular bag, it actually comes with seven. So most bags you get aren't going to come with that many large utility boxes. They normally come with the smaller ones. This one comes with seven already, and it holds up to eight. I love it. It's perfect for uh, co-anglers. 
like myself. It's a great tackle bag. Um, so, as you can see, take the camera up. Just look even your overhead view of my bag. It's got basically everything I need in here. So, just kind of going through it. Of course, you, I've got my, you know, my tournament board just to make sure that you know I meet the size requirements, length of the fish, and I've got, as you can see, eight. Uh, 3,700 utility size tackle um, boxes in here. I got my swim baits, uh, flukes, um, you know, tail flappers, Kytec type, and uh, man's jelly worm, long worms, um, 10 to 12 inch worms in this box. I have my uh, next box, second box has my craws, has my pack of trunk trailers, my grubs, my sankos, and stick baits. My third box, have my plastic creature baits and frogs. Um, next box has my chatter baits and spinner baits. All right, my fifth box has my lipless crank baits and jerk baits and jigs. My next box has my finesse worms, ribbon tail worms, and tubes. My seventh box has my square bills, top waters, and dive, diving crank baits. And my eighth box, let me pull back the flap. My A3700 series box has my um, terminal tackle um, and, um, and weights and stuff like that. So I'll just take a couple of these boxes out just so you can kind of see how big they are. These are the big size storage utility boxes. So I mean, you guys can get an idea of and it, how big it is. And you guys can actually, I'll take them up. I'll, I'll take half of them out. So you guys can see how deep this box is, how this bag is. Actually, it's got some stuff that's a little stuff that popped in the bottom of this, but it's pretty deep as you can see. So got a little fresh, fresh bead pack or whatever you want to call that thing with the beads in it that keeps the bag fresh that popped. So uh, this is uh, something that is a necessity uh, for, I think, the tournament angler. While we got that going, actually, let me set this over here on the side. I'll go into the side pocket so you can see how deep these are. Um, just take a couple of things out that I have in here so you can get an idea of how deep it is. I have a couple loose soft plastics that I use a lot. Sankos, my Zoom uh, lizards, this time of year is great. Power worms, um, VNN, VNM, I'm sorry. Um, my uh, creature bait and I have my culprit DW3 grubs twin tail and just a little wind mask for when I'm on the boat going 60 miles an hour keep your face protected from the wind cold and my shades and uh, my fishing gloves so this kind of gives you an idea of how deep these side pockets are they're very they're very good um, they hold a lot. They kind of stretch a little bit. Um, they're just all. It's just an all-around good bag to have. I go by the front pocket, front pouch. Um, got extra batteries in here. GoPro waterproof housing. I've got. Uh, What's this? I've got some line conditioner. I've got garlic spike it. These two little pockets, bait make fish attractant. Um, I've got Uncle Josh pork trailers. I've got, you know, um, split ring pliers. So it's all stuff that I have in my front pocket. Going to the next side pocket here. I have my scale. Fish grippers, my tournament cull balls. Um, these are the Artin um, Smart Link um, cull system. It actually lets you record the size of the fish on the actual cull ball so you don't have to keep searching. So if it's a five pounder, you just push this little side button in and move it. If I can do it with one hand, try and do it with one hand so I don't shake the camera too much and boom you see it's a five pound 
move the five pounder, hook it on the fish, boom, there you go. So it's always good to be as prepared as possible as a co-angler. Don't expect your boater to have everything. Um, they expect you not to be prepared in a lot of cases, but you, you don't be the one to be not prepared. You be prepared. Have everything that you need. The only thing I really don't have, and it's not something that's necessary, and a lot of boaters um, have it, but it's not absolutely necessary because I do have my scale if, if need be, and that is the, um, uh, the ba tournament balance beam. Um, it just was, um, I didn't feel like I absolutely had to have that. Um, I have a scale, so, you know, worst case scenario, I just use my digital scale. And it takes up less room. But, um, oh, and there's a top part as well right here is a zip. And I keep a lot of uh, extra terminal tackle in here. Hooks, snap swivels, O-rings, shaky head hooks, um, football, scrounger heads, that type of stuff. So, this is just a quick review of the Cabela's Rapala Tackle Bag. Uh, you can find them at Cabela's, obviously. Um, I got mine off of eBay for about $20 cheaper. They retail for $99.99. It's an awesome bag. Um, I, I love it. Um, keeps me prepared. Keeps me, uh, keeps me with everything I need for a tournament. Thank you for listening and watching this channel. That concludes the Rapala Tackle Bag update. Um, it's a good bag. Buy it. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe to my channel, Strike City DMV. Tight lines.